Hello guys! So this is the first part of our learning PHP series. So in this part, we're going to talk about the details of PHP, how are we going to set up our working environment, and the tools needed for us to start our local development, okay? So those are the things that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so let's start by knowing what is PHP. PHP is a server scripting language and a powerful tool for making dynamic and interactive web pages. PHP is an acronym for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. PHP is a widely used open source scripting language. And PHP is a free to download and use. Okay, so what can PHP do? PHP can generate dynamic page content. PHP can create, open, read, write, delete, and close files on the server. PHP can collect form data. PHP can send and receive cookies. PHP can add, delete, modify data in your database. PHP can be used to control user access. And PHP can encrypt data. Okay? Okay, so what are the websites developed in PHP? According to yourstory.com, these are the top 10 websites developed in PHP. We have Yung Yahoo, Facebook, Wikipedia, Tumblr, WordPress, MailChimp, Flickr, iStack Photo, Baidu, and Canva. Okay, so what are the basic knowledge needed? Before you continue, you should have a basic understanding of the following. HTML, second, CSS, and the third is JavaScript. Okay? Although, pagdating sa JavaScript, it is not that kind of required, but mas mainam if you have the knowledge. Okay? Pero yung HTML tsaka CSS, it is totally required. Because we try to integrate yung knowledge mo sa HTML, CSS, sa PHP. Kasi, yung HTML, CSS, at saka JavaScript will work sa front-end side, kagaya ng sa mga layout, sa mga styles, at sa mga animation. Okay? While yung PHP will work on the back-end side, or yung sinasabi nating server side. Okay? So, dyan naka-focus yung PHP wherein it manage yung sinasabi nating form validation, data sanitization, and yung saving of data into the database. So, those are the things na ginagawa ng PHP. So, if you don't have a knowledge yet on HTML, CSS, then you can watch my other videos on that. Then, after that, you can jump into the PHP kasi mahihirapan talaga kayo if you don't have those knowledge. Okay? Okay. So, what is a PHP file? PHP files can contain text, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP code. PHP code are executed on the server, and the result is returned to the browser as plain HTML. And PHP files have an extension of .php. Okay? Okay, so what are the things needed to start our local development? First, we need to install a web server, such as Apache. Second, to install PHP. Third, to install a database, such as MySQL. Then, install a text editor. Then, to install a browser. Okay? Okay, so do we have any installer package to set up our local development server? The answer is yes. Ito yung tinatawag nating web server solution package. Okay, so we have yung SAM, we have yung WAMP, and also yung Laragon. Actually, there are other things on how we set up or ways on how we set up our local development server. We can use naman yung mga um, virtual machine to set up our local server. But on my case, I use yung SAM 
Okay? So, kasi it is already a package of Apache, MySQL, and PHP. All we need to do is to download and install it on our computer. Yan. Okay? Okay, so what are the sample of text editors that we can use? Of course, we have you Sublime Text, we have you Notepad++, or PHP Storm. Okay, so actually, there are a lot of text editor out there, kagaya ng Visual Studio, or yung Atom. Okay, so it's up to you lang guys kung alin yung gagamitin nyo. Okay, so on my end, I'm going to use yung Sublime Text. Okay? Okay, so what are the sample of browsers that we can use? Of course, nandyan yung Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Safari, and yung Microsoft Edge. So, it's up to you kung aling browser yung mas prepared yung gamitin. So, on my case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. Okay? Okay, so if you're already settled all the necessary tools, Okay, so then we can start now our development. Okay? Okay, so before we start our development, we need to make sure that the server is already started. Okay? So to do that, we need to go to the sum control panel. Then we need to start Apache. Okay? So once there are already ports here, therefore our server are already started. Okay? So in this part here, which is MySQL, gagamitin lang natin yan, or we're going to start that one if we need to manage yung database na. But at the moment, since hindi pa naman tayo gagamit ng database, then kahit hindi pa natin start yan, okay lang. Okay? So we can close this one na. Okay? Okay, so the next thing na gagawin natin is to go to the drive kung saan naka-install yung sump natin. Kung nilagay nyo sa C, doon kayo pupunta. Pero on my case, I installed it on my drive D. Okay? So, hahanapin natin tong sump. Open lang natin. Then dito, may mahanap tayong htdocs. So, dyan natin ilalagay yung mga project na gagawin natin. Okay? So, let's say um, gumawa ko ng bagong folder. Sabi nating project. So, this will serve as our working directory. Okay. Then, close lang. Okay, yan. Close natin. Then, now, we're going to open our for folder using yung text editor natin. So, open folder. Hanapin natin si D. Samp. htdocs. And project. Okay. Close natin to. So, I use yung open folder instead of open file. It is because para magkaroon ng sidebar dito. Para lahat ng files na gagawin ko, makikita ko agad dito. Okay? Okay, so let's start our first file in PHP. So, all we need to do is to right-click this folder, new file, then save that one as index.php. Then, maglagay tayo ng HTML code. Then, dito sa title tag, bagyan natin ng learning PHP. And dito naman, maglagay tayo ng, sabihin natin H1. And also, learning PHP. Same. Okay. So, we all already created our PHP file. Now, paano naman natin iraran? All we need to do is to go to our browser and type localhost slash yung folder name which is project and yung file name yan so our index file serves as our home page okay so since it's home page um kahit wala to dito i-remove natin yung file name we can still view yung page natin it is because index file serves as the home page of the website okay okay Ngayon naman, let's try to create new file. How to access if it's not index file? So, sabi natin about. And let's save it as about.php. Okay. Then, go to the browser, of course, in this part. 
we can just type yung about.php. Yan. Okay? So, that's how we access yung other files naman. Ngayon, what if we remove index? What do you think will happen, guys? If we remove index and hindi na natin ilagay yung index dito, ito yung mangyayari. It will display um, all the files na nasa directory natin. Okay? So, since nawala yung index natin in which yung homepage natin, kaya yun ang nangyayari. Ngayon, ibalik naman natin. So, save natin as index.php then turning php. Refresh natin. Yun. Okay. So, that's the good thing of putting a index file in our website. Okay? So, sa lahat ng mga directory yung gagawin natin, guys, mas mainam kung mayroong index.html o di kaya php. Basta may index file. Para hindi makita yung katulad kanina wherein it tries to list yung mga files natin. Okay? Okay, so the next thing naman na gagawin natin, what is the syntax of PHP tags? The syntax of it is ganito. Okay? Ganito yung syntax. This is the opening tag for PHP and the closing tag for PHP. Okay? So basically, nilagay natin dito is because we're, we are in the body of the HTML. So lahat na content na gusto nating mag-display sa browser will be on the within the body tag. So, that's the basic rules naman pagdating sa web development. Ngayon, hindi naman limited yung PHP na dito lang natin ilalagay. Okay? We can also place it here. We can also place it here. Okay? Allowed yan. But at the moment, for the demonstration purposes, um, dito lang muna natin sa body ilalagay. Okay? Ngayon, paano naman tayo mag-display ng mga values or data sa PHP? Of course, on how to display, we are going to use echo. Then we can you display a um, string. Sabi natin, hello, PHP. Save. Then refresh tayo. Yan. Or we can also display a number. Sabi natin ganun. Yan. Okay. So, that's how we manage yung pag-display ng PHP. We can also display actually yung HTML. We can also echo that one. Sabi natin h2. Then, hello PHP. Save. Then, refresh. Yan. Okay. So, lahat ng pag-display na gagawin natin sa PHP is we're going to use the echo statement. Okay, guys? So, lahat ng statement then should be end up with a semicolon. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it, guys. So, I hope you learned something new today, guys. So, basically, we had learned about sa PHP. Um, how are we going to set up our work environment? And what are the needed tools to start our local development? Then, kung ano ba yung mga basic syntax pagdating sa PHP? and how we display a string or a value or a number in PHP, okay? So those are the things that we have learned so far on this particular part of our series, okay? So just like I always say, guys, just keep practicing and never stop learning. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.